Hi everyone, they are halfway through the Rangeland Derby and with the call of the fastest heat of night number five, here's Les McIntyre. There's the horn and the charge is a quick one for Captain Kirk Sutherland on that two barrel ghost pine environmental as he gets out there at the middle and out in front of the pack, Doug Irvine to the rail, Kelly Sutherland three wide and Colt Cosgrave splits the difference with his Sutina Nation wagon. Look at Captain Kirk fly tonight. Beam me up, Scotty. I done seen enough. He's got a chuck wagon tsunami coming in behind him, and he knows all about that feather on the outside. His brother Kelly has been his challenger for many, many years. But look at this. Colt Cosgrave's now making a move up the middle as he eases out of third and challenges Kurt Sutherland as he goes into that final, uh, I should say, that third turn. Kirk Sutherland and Ghost Pine Environmental. The environmentally friendly third turn is all his by a length and a half. Colt Cosgrave has the Polka dots in the middle of the track. He's flanked by Kelly Sutherland on the outside. Doug Irvine, BNR Eccles Transport on the inside as the wall of chuck wagons chases down Captain Kirk Sutherland. He points him for the home stretch drive. He opens him up even more. This could be day money right here. Kirk Sutherland, Ghost Pine Environmental, the uncatchable Captain Kirk. Cole Cosgrave, Sutina Nation, too little, too late. BNR Eccles Transport with Doug Irvine and Tervita with Kelly Sutherland. Kirk moves into seventh overall with that blazing fast time of 115.54. Brother Kelly just hangs on to eighth. Troy Dorchester is the new leader overall heading into night number six. The Major League Baseball All-Star game was played last night in Kansas City, Missouri, and it was just a beautiful night for baseball there. Too bad the game was a stinker. The National League scored five runs in the first inning off of Detroit Tigers ace Justin Verlander. The highlight of the inning was a bases loaded triple by San Francisco's Pablo Sandoval, which made it 5-0. The National League wins the All-Star game for the third straight year, and that means it will have home field advantage in the World Series yet again. A woman's propensity for keeping everything forever could change her nephew's life. He found what could be a gold mine of baseball cards while cleaning up his aunt's house after she died. Jennifer Steck has more. When Carl Kistner's aunt passed away, she made him the executor of her will and estate. That meant it was up to Carl to go through and clean out her house. Through all the boxes of untouched memories from the last century, one box in particular, covered in soot and under a dollhouse, caught his eye. They got to be baseball cards because because that's Cy Young and and there's Honus Wagner and and there's Ty Cobb and and over here is Evers and Chance, you know you just named five Hall of Famers right there. So we're going okay. They're either worth nothing, or they're worth something. After many nights with very little sleep and a lot of research. Yeah, this was the E98 anonymous set of thirty and that we had a very large stash of them. The cards are so rare and in such mint condition, they could fetch millions at an upcoming auction. Carl compares it to finding a Mona Lisa in the attic. Experts call it... Cardboard gold was their term. If there was such a thing, this is it. Believe it or not, if it wasn't for knowing his aunt was a pack rat, the cards could have been overlooked. So you had to open every envelope and you had to open every book and you had to, <laughs> yeah. So knowing that, we went through it very meticulously. Had we went through in a rampage, we might have spotted those cards and went, huh, oh, poof, and they would have went in the hopper. Carl believes the cards belonged to his grandfather. He was the owner of a meat market in Defiance and could have used them as promotional handouts. Some just happened to be left behind and forgotten for a hundred years in his aunt's attic. Her curse wound up being our blessing. When I opened the will, uh, my aunt had put little handwritten notes in it, okay? And one of the little notes was that, Carl, as you go through the house, you will find things you never knew existed. Could not have been a truer statement. Holy crow, God bless her. Cardboard gold. <laughs> Straight ahead on the CTV News at 5, some pets mm, that are gold and beautiful. looking for homes. Pets of the Week when we come back.